<laughs> hey man, I'm just relaxing. I was looking at GTII. It went to as low as three dollars and seventy-five cents. Um, at the time of this video, I think it's like four dollars and twelve cents. So Lou's beard is uh, growing, right? <laughs> He's trimming it though. He's trimming that damn. You know what bothers me about Lou? I would actually have respect for him if he would let that damn beard grow like Santa Claus, like Grizzly Adams. I I would have. I actually. I think I actually might take back. Every bad thing I said, if I would see him grow that beard all the way down to his friggin' balls, to his knees. Because honestly, that's that's what that that, that is what should happen. Because GTII is not going to 100 bucks. Look, I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer, but nah. Look, what happened with GTII was this. What happened? And I see this happen a lot. You know, I see it happen a lot. I'm starting to learn the game. After being in the market now for over a year and just seeing the way retail works and whales and, you know, hedge funds, I'm really starting to understand the game. It, it's crazy. Okay. What happens is this. GTII was a piece of garbage, over-the-counter, pink, pink sheet trash. But what happened was it got the attention. It got the attention of retail. Okay. And retail pumped it. That's it. That's it. Retail pumped it. And they pumped it up to an, an amazing level. I mean, the thing went from like 60 cents to like, well, I, I think it went to eight bucks, I think. I know it went to over six, but some people were telling me it hit eight at one point. I don't, it, it was an amazing run. But then what does retail do? They, they pump it. And then they dump it. They make their money. They take their profits and they run. This is not a, listen to me, GTII is not a long-term play. And you know what's funny is that most of the people that I'm talking to, because I asked a lot of people who are GTI, GTII investors, I said, let me ask you a question. Are you hold this, holding this to 100 like Lou says? They're like, hell no, you know? <laughs> I hate to say that because I'm a Christian guy, but that's what they said to me. Hell no! They're like, are you nuts? I sold that thing at six, I rebought it, I'm 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 riding it back up. You, they 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 you know doing all everything they got to do with this thing to make money. Okay, so the problem though is that there are some people who actually listen to Lou. That's this is the thing, and I believe there are some people who bought GTII at a very low price under a dollar. Let's just say sixty cents, just for the sake of argument, and they're listening to Lou. Like in other words, they're not selling because Lou. Is telling them GTII is going to 100. And he's going to create, this is just my opinion, that's it. You understand? I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. It's just my opinion. Lou is going to create a lot of bag holders for GTII, just like he did with AMC. Okay? Now, you might say, well, you follow. Didn't you pump AMC too? I did, but I put my money where my mouth is. Okay? Lou doesn't put his money where his mouth is. He puts something else in his mouth. We all know what that is. <laughs> we all know what he puts in his mouth. He doesn't invest. This is, again, I'll say alleged, in any stocks. Nothing. Never invested in Clove, Sundial. Never invested in AMC. Never invested in GTII. Definitely, no question. There's no question. <laughs> RNVA, no way. Finger motion, no way. He, he doesn't invest in none of these things, okay? What he does, it's a hot topic. He knows he's going to get a lot of views. And and after what's going to ultimately happen, I think, this is just my prediction, what's ultimately going to happen with GTII. It's going to go back down to where it started. It's going to go back to under a dollar, 60 cents, 50 cents, 40 cents. And at that point, Lou is going to laugh at you the way he laughed at you with Clove. <laughs> See, because the reason why he does this is it's his reverse psychology. Because he's going to throw it in your face. He's going to say, what are you talking about? GTII had an amazing run. Went up over 500%. You're the idiot that didn't sell. That's exactly what he did with Clove. He was telling everybody that Clove was going to go up to 500 And they listened to him and they were holding. And then when that freaking thing plummeted, they lost their money. He laughed at their face. And he's like, why didn't you sell when it, when it, when it, when it had its run? He's going to do the same thing with GTII. When GTII ultimately goes under a dollar, 
Lou's going to say, hey, you should have sold it at six. You should have sold it when it when it had its run. Okay. But again, that's not what Lou was saying. Lou was saying that he's going to grow his beard like Grizzly Adams, like, uh, you know, Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> Santa Claus. More like the devil Santa Claus. And, and, and he's going to, it's like that movie, Bad Santa. And, and he's going to keep growing a beard until GTI go GTII goes to 100. But you see, now the thing is, will he keep his, will, will Lou even keep his word on that? I don't think so. I, I see it. He's trimming it. He's trimming it. You're going to see, watch. You know what's going to happen? Like six months from now, right? <laughs> GTII is going to be at like, whatever, 40 cents, 30 cents, right? And you're going to see Jim's, uh, Jim. You're going to see Lou. <laughs> I'm thinking about my wife's brother. We were just on the phone with him before. That's her, her, her father and her brother's name is Jim. Sometimes you know what happens with my mind is that, like, I got so much, I have so much going on in my life, you know? I got my wife. I got to worry about her. I got my mom. We're on the, I have to take care of that. We're taking care of our wife's father. God bless him. And we're talking to family members. This is that. And then I, what happens is I immediately make a video and that person, it's kind of funny, right? Like I could just erase this video and, and say, let me not make a jackass, you know, out of myself. But I think it's actually funny. I got the person's, you know, basically it's, it happens to guys all the time. Like, like here's an example, right? Like a guy will be with a girl. Let's just say the girl's name is Lisa doing the, the wild thing right he's doing his thing but then he goes home right to his wife let's say his wife's name is uh maria and then they're doing their thing and he's like yeah lisa i like what you did to me last night and she's like what did you just say uh what did you just call me lisa no i said you're a teaser i didn't say lisa i said you're a teaser that's what happens to me it's like i'll just get off the phone with somebody and then the, it's stuck in my head and then i make a video and i'm calling lou jim these things happen but anyway <laughs> will lou continue to grow his beard what do you think i don't think so i think he's going to keep trimming it six months from now his beard will look the same way today as it as it does today